My name is Rihanna Menon. I am a breast surgeon here in Boise, Idaho, and I work at Mountain State Breast and General Surgery. Improving patient care is so important to me because I don't think it takes much of a leap of imagination to imagine either ourselves, our sisters, our mothers, our best friends in this same situation. One in eight women will get breast cancer. What we want to do and what I'm passionate about is making this less and less scary because in reality, most women are going to do very well. If we can make this experience less and less traumatizing, I think that that's the experience they're going to share. And I think that that is going to have a ripple effect on how prepared women are if they have to go through this experience. I began to explore the MagTotal platform when I was the medical director of a pretty large hospital based practice. One of our biggest problems was really scheduling between nuclear medicine, um, MagSeed. Our patients come from all over the state, often traveling many, many hours, having to come in overnight, and from surrounding states as well because our catchment is very large. So what we were finding was that we were really having to delay surgery to get these adjuvant therapies in. I started to look at different methods that could help to particularly avoid or, or eliminate nuclear medicine, as well as the kind of variability that we found with nuclear medicine. And so once we found that MagTrace had FDA approval, it became very easy because we've been using Mag, Mag Seeds since 2016. As part of the bigger hospital system, we were so impacted partly because of a large catchment area, but also partly because of delays getting to surgery. At that point, my time from biopsy to first consultation was 46 days, and biopsy to surgery was 80 days. Since I've transitioned into private practice, and really I give a lot of credit to the MagTotal platform because of the ease of scheduling, my days are now biopsy to surgery much under 30 days in most cases. With the mag total technique, the mag seed is placed by the radiologist within the tumor as is normally done. And then the mag trace is placed in the peritumoral location, usually at the posterior aspect of the tumor. This can be helpful for me just in a visual cue with the staining. Often it can help me both identify the tumor, particularly if it's not palpable, and can also help me to know which margins to take. Because I've used the MagSeed plat platform for a very long time, since about 2016, 2015. Um, it was quite a seamless transition. Having the new Gen 3 system has been completely altering. It's a new game changer. It's a, a really lovely platform. I can very easily separate MagSeed and MagTrace. Um, I find the slimmer probe much more easy to use. I can use a smaller incision. I find it to be seamless, I can get more surgeries done in a day and I can get through my days faster, which is always a nice perk for me.